I had a really boring time um, being an intern for a barrister, even with murderers and everything in the room. I mean, the room was packed with murderers, and I still found it <laughs> really dull. Um, so I, I decided, I think after that, yeah, okay, I, I've tried something else. But for the moment, it, the acting is bug is still very much biting. I think Stanley Tucci said in an interview, you know, you must take your work seriously, but you must never take yourself seriously. And that's what the drama school has, you know, always said to me and taught me. And you look like a, can I say cunt on this? Can I say cunt? You look like a cunt if you, if, if you come into a rehearsal room and you, and you haven't, you haven't brought it. As a young actor, you want to show them what you got and impress everyone from the word go, which when you watch the really cool actors on stage, they just can take their time a little bit more. You know, they can build into a performance. They've got nobody to impress. And, and um, that's what I would like to be able to do one day. So that's that challenge in its way, keeping it fresh and not shooting your load too early. And it's funny. I mean, there's a great piece of advice that a teacher at drama school gave me that said, you know, who's good, good thing, bad thing, who knows? You get a good job, great, good thing. You don't get the job that you've wanted so bad, bad thing. But who knows, tomorrow you're going to get that phone call saying, we really want you to play this part. Holy shit, I just got a bigger part. I would be naive to have said that um, bit the fact that I had Fox at the end of my name isn't of interest to people, because it is. You know, before every single interview piece I've ever been mentioned in or had done about me, the youngest of the Fox dynasty, this, 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 this um, weighty word, dynasty, that sort of drops like a, a grounding stone <laughs> wherever I am, and I'm like trying to roll it away. But um, I want to, you know, show them what I, yeah, what I, what I can do and be able in that way to play lots of parts and really, you know, be different in that respect, be chameleonic. My life has always been really in one way or another infected by stories whether they've been listening to them on audio tapes or having people read them or reading them myself or acting in them or one day directing them and writing them um, that's what my life will be about i feel <laughs>